Hey, Andrew Kramer here with VideoCopilot.net, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to simulate a depth of field look on our live action footage. And let me go ahead and show you what we're going to be creating. And I just have this uh, pre rendered here, so let's check it out. Okay, so as you see, the focus point comes from about right here and just kind of moves on up to the eyes as the dolly shot finishes. And it's a pretty cool effect. And as you can see in the original footage, there's uh, no such uh, depth of field created. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is take this Army Guys footage and drag it into the Make New Comp button. And I'm going to close this Finish Comp just so we have a little bit more space to work with. And the next thing I'm going to do is select the layer and choose Effects, Blur, Lens Blur. Now this is a new plugin to After Effects 7 which is very cool and very powerful. So at the default state you see the whole image is now out of focus. But what we want to create is selective focus on a specific plane on this image. Now because this shot is kind of low down the legs here are sort of in the foreground and their faces are more in the middle ground which is good because now we can set up a depth mat that puts either of these in focus and the other not in focus. So to do that we are going to create a new solid and I'm just going to go ahead and call this depth and choose OK and then I'm going to select the layer choose effects generate and ramp and the default value of the ramp is actually what we want to do because what we're going to use this grayscale image for is to set a depth for each shade of gray so the white will essentially represent very close to the camera and the black will represent very far away from the camera and anything in between will be that middle ground we're hoping to uh, use to achieve this effect. Now the problem with the lens blur effect is if we set the depth mat layer to be our depth layer and go ahead and shut the depth layer off it doesn't actually register that gradient. What we have to do is pre-compose this layer. So to do that I'm gonna select the layer, choose layer, pre-compose and I'm just gonna choose OK and now you'll see our layer has starting to uh, take an effect. So the rocks here are now in focus and the area down here is out of focus. Well, the first thing we could do to kind of demonstrate this a little bit better is to Alt or Option double click our depth layer and just go into it. Now, I'm going to do something really quick to set up After Effects so that we can see what's going on a lot easier. What I'm going to do is go View, New Viewer and I'm going to take the viewer and then move it over to the right so that now so now we have two viewers up and so then I'm going to go to this composition select on this timeline lock this window to this timeline and then this composition to our other depth timeline and that way if I go to our depth layer and change our ramp to say radial we can immediately see what that's going to do to our image right here so now if I move this radial ramp down and maybe move the point out like that look what happens to our image we get sort of a center spot kind of a look and it might be kind of hard to see so if we take this depth mat with the ramp applied to it we can choose effects color correction and curves and just make the blacks a little bit darker and that way this area will be in focus and everything beyond that will be out of focus and we can even increase the highlight area so that more of the image goes out of focus and let's just make a slight adjustment there so this image is basically making this image go out of focus selectively now this can create very dramatic looks and if we play this back you can see that this is actually a very cool effect and uh, could definitely be used in a lot of different situations but for this tutorial I want to show you kind of changing the depth of field based on the plane so what I'm gonna do is go back to this layer delete the curves and just reset the gradient ramp so that it's just a long line like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and just close this out and unlock this composition and what I'm going to do is select our army guys layer and now our lens blur effect comes up. Now what we need to do is to change the depth of field is to change the focal distance. So they have this blur focal distance effect here and if we just slide this around you can kind of see that the focal point changes. Now if I let go of that it'll kind of render in high res and as you can see now this area is in focus and now the background is out of focus. So depending on where this point is 
it is going to look at the grayscale image and decide what point or what level of gray you want this image to be in focus. So if we blur the iris radius up to say about 20, we can really make a shallow depth of field. And now let's go ahead and change the focal distance so that it gets just about our eyes of our main character right up here. And let's go ahead and just move that down just a little bit, maybe about right there. Okay, so now the legs are out of focus and now our eyes are just about in focus. Well, all we need to do is keyframe the focal distance of this particular parameter and we can create that effect. So let's just go ahead and move forward in time and let's set a keyframe for the focal distance at 76.5 and that looks pretty good. Then I'm going to move back in time to about here and set the focal distance to our legs so maybe about 210, 211. And so now this area is in focus and now the back's out of focus. Well, if I hit U on the keyboard with the army guys selected, I can see those two keyframes. I can select both of them and choose F9 and that'll give us an easy ease keyframe that will make it kind of smooth as the uh, focal distance changes. So that would uh, kind of emulate a good camera operator, for example. Okay, let's go ahead and check it out. So pretty cool. It's a, a pretty dramatic effect that I think can really add some depth to your uh, your next film or your next commercial. So uh, if you like this tutorial and want to check out some more tutorials, please check out videocopilot.net. We also have a DVD on sale called Serious Effects and Compositing. And that, of course, is a Creative Cal Master Series training. And as always, I'm Andrew Kramer with videocopilot.net and creativecow.net. Thanks for watching.